Lesson 1. The Nature of Roots of Quadratic Equation The Nature of Roots of Quadratic Equation AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to 0 can be determined using discriminant. In the equation formula, negative B, negative plus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A, the radicand B squared minus 4AC is called discriminant or in symbol D. The discriminant will identify whether the roots real, rational, or irrational, equal or unequal, and real or imaginary numbers. If the discriminant or D is equal to zero, then the roots are real, rational, and equal. If the discriminant or D greater than zero and a perfect square, then the roots are real, rational, and unequal numbers. If the D or discriminant is greater than zero but not perfect square, then the roots are real, unequal, and irrational numbers. If the discriminant or D less than zero, then the roots are imaginary numbers. To be able to determine the values of A, B, and C, set the quadratic equation into its standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero. This is the standard form you need to follow para masolve nyo yung quadratic equation. Example. Ito sa example na to, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. May mga step. You need to follow this step to answer the equation. Step 1, write the given. Sulat. x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Identify the values of a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1. Because x squared as an imaginary 1. Kaya 1 yung value ng a. And b is equal to negative 2 as you can see. Negative 2x, so 2. C is equal to 1, 2. So, step 3, substitute the values of a, b, and c in the equation d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So, isa substitute na natin. Yung value ng b, which is negative 2, squared minus 4, and then the values of a and c, 1, 1. So, d is equal to 4 minus 4. Naging positive 4 dito kasi... Kung i-multiply mo yung negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive. So, kaya nagkaroon ng positive 4. Then, B is equal to 0. Since it is 0, we can now determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. Since D is equal to 0, therefore, the roots are real, rational, and equal. Then, natin isolve itong mga exercises. So, start tayo sa question number 1. Gawin natin siyang standard form. Which is p2 plus 5p minus 3 is equal to 0. Diba? Walang pinagkaiba kasi nauna yung p squared tsaka yung 5p negative 3 is equal to 0. So, hanapin natin yung values ng equation. a is 1 kasi yung p squared is my imaginary number 1. Isipin natin, isipin natin my imaginary group number 1 dyan. And then, sa value ng b is 5. And then, sa value ng C is negative 3. Kasi minus 3 dito. And then, hanapin natin yung discriminant using the formula B squared minus 4AC. So, substitute natin yung value ng B is 5. 5 B squared minus 4. Value ng A is 1. So, ang value ng C is negative 3. So, yung isosolve yan, 5 times 5 is equals to 25 yan. 25. And then less, 4 times 1 is 4. Times negative 12. A negative 3 is negative. It's positive 12. Positive 12 siya kasi. Negative dito, negative 4. Tapos 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then yung times mo yan sa negative 3 is positive 12. And then, 25 plus 12 is equals to 37. Yan ang discriminant. And then, dito tayo sa question number 2. 5 bar minus 2 is equals to 3 r squared. Gawin natin siyang standard form. Manguna dapat yung 3 r squared. 3R squared. So, 
kailangan natin i-transpose itong dalawa, 5R and negative 2, dito sa kabila. So, magiging negative 5R, kasi kung i-transpose mo siya dito, mag-iba yung operation niya. Positive siya dati, magiging negative siya. And then, yung negative 2, i-transpose mo, negative 2 siya dati, so magiging positive 2 is equals to 0. And then, hinapin natin yung values. Value ng A is 3. And then, value ng B is negative 5. Kasi negative minus 5R. And then, yung 2 is positive. So, gawin natin yung discriminant niya. Negative 5 minus 4. Value ng A is 3. And then, value ng C is 2. So, negative 5 squared is equals so, negative 5 times negative 5 is equals to positive 25. And then, less, 4 times 3 is 12. And then, 12 times 2 is equals to 24. So, yung sagot is 1. Dito naman tayo sa kabilang question. x squared plus 5x plus 10. So, gawing standard form, always yung may squared yung una. And then, plus 5x plus 10 is equals to 0. And then, values, hanapin, 1, and then 5, and then 10. So, hanapin natin discriminant, which is 5 squared minus 4, 1, and then 10. So, 5 times 5, 25. And then, 4 times 1 is 4. And then, 4 times 10 is equals to 40. So, yung sagot is negative 15. So, yung standard form dito is 2x squared minus 7 minus 30. Kasi na-transpose yung 30 paloob. So, positive siya dati magiging negative. And equals to 0. Values, A, 2. And then B, is equals to negative 7. And then C, is negative 30. So, let's find the discriminant. Negative 7 squared minus 4, 2, and then negative 30. Dito, 7, negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Positive 49. And then dito, 4 times 2, 8. And then 8, negative 8 times negative 30 is positive 240. So, yung sagot is 289. That's the discriminant. And then dito sa last number, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, standard form niya is x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. Napin yung values. 1, 6, 9. Then, discriminant is 6 squared minus 4, 1, and then 9. And then, 36 and then, 36. Kasi 4 times 1 is 4. Times 9, 36. So, 0. Ganun ang paghanap ng discriminant. Step by step.